Hey guys, uh, I'm just going to show you how to work on a sample project uh, which is uh, a simple site suitability analysis. Uh, again, this is a very simple project uh, where we are going to just look at population densities, income densities, median age of population and uh, you know distance away from existing competition. And we are going to do this in St. Louis County and what we are trying to do is uh, let's call it bunch of uh, grocery stores and I'm looking for a potential new grocery store location so that's what we'll be doing uh, we'll be uh, we'll be performing this analysis using ArcGIS uh, spatial analysis tools and uh, uh, actually some network analysis tools so uh, let's get started so the first step is to actually go to our data source where we actually select our location which is community analyst I'm gonna go to select location select geographies I'm gonna look for St. Louis Missouri and I'm going to select the county St. Louis County click on apply so once I get to St. Louis County I'm going to switch to my explore community mode and then I will click on create color coded map so the variables that I need are for the year 2011 so I'm just gonna click, click on 2011 demographics and now the, the first demographic I would need is total population so I'm just gonna click on that so once it actually creates that color coded map which is at the census track level as you can see that's the census track level so I'm gonna use that to actually export the data into a final projects folder that I created under my you know, 2011 population and then I'm going to do, do the same thing for uh, total households then export the data I'm gonna keep repeating this uh, task till I find everything I need so I'm gonna go to income now I'm looking for median household income so I'm gonna download all all the data in the map extent and then I'm going to choose some more variables uh, like per capita income then I'm going to export that data and then the next step is to actually download the age uh, the, the target age groups uh, so which is 25 to 40 just gonna target those households and then we have to download that individually as you as you know I'm going to export all this data individually by variable by census track into individual excel files and once once I get all my data uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put all this information together in excel we'll see how that's done okay so I'm here in the folder where I downloaded all my data you know the median household income per capita total households and population by age so I'm gonna open total households and as you can see it, it got census tracks to uh, 2011 households that's great but the thing is we need this census tracks uh, in a format that can be that, that, that we can use to actually join in a GIS interface so what I'm going to do is convert all this into a number actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to select this field hit on control F and then replace all the dots with nothing so I'm just gonna get rid of all the dots and the next step is to actually create a track field and then I'm going to I'm gonna convert that field into text convert all these into a text field 
and use that formula which is text a2 comma 0 and then let's make sure 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 digits of tracked ids so that's excellent i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna call it geo id not tracked so i'm going to copy this formula down till the end so once i got all my census tracks i'm going to scroll back up now I can s what I'm going to do is cut this and paste this here so that you know it's in a format that's easier for me to read uh, now the second step is to actually go back to the second variable which is the uh, total population I'm going to select this entire data set filter that data set I'm gonna set this in ascending order by census track. I'm gonna copy the entire data set and then I'm going to set this data set the master data set by census track too. So so now I'm hoping that when I paste my uh, total population data set it's gonna just line up quite beautifully you know just gonna come back copy this go back to my total households where I created my geo ID and paste the data as you can see my data lines up which is excellent just gonna run a quick test is equal to if actually I can't do that so never mind uh, we'll we'll run this test at the end, end of everything so just gonna go come back here and do repeat the steps for all the variables that we got so select create a filter you know set in ascending order by census track come back and paste it go back to your folder you know keep doing this till you have all the data that you need So we're going to do this for the last age group which is 35 to 39. I'm going to come back and paste that. I'm just using keyboard shortcuts so I hope you are familiar with some Excel because uh, chances are that you may be lost if you don't know Excel. So don't blame me for you not knowing Excel. Uh, the next thing is to, yeah, per capita income. create a filter sort ascending order and then paste it and then go back to the last variable which is the median household income select all the data filter it set it in ascending order copy it and come back and paste so the first test you have to do is make sure you have equal number of records throughout and then all your last records actually do line up quite neatly so which is nice so this is the test I'm talking about uh, I'm gonna go back and, and create an if statement if my census track lines up with that census track then return a value of 1 else return a value of 0 so I'm just gonna copy the formula down again and see that I got all ones which means what the you know we pasted it in the right way so I'm just gonna do the same thing for my j2 and copy the formula down yeah looks like we got all ones which is excellent and then change j to actually h and then copy the formula down looks like it's all lining up so 
yeah I'm happy with this data so I'm just gonna delete this last field and now I'm going to delete all the census track fields that I don't need this is cleaning data guys this is how you put the data together I'm gonna delete those fields and now we got census tracks and GUID and all the fields we need so as you know we can't actually start the field names with a number so I'm gonna change the field names to total households total total population age age 25 25 to 29 age 30 to 34 oh. age 25 29 age 30, 34, age 35, 39, uh, PCI, median, also income. So I'm just gonna come. So it looks like I got all my all the data I need, but looks like all these green green dots uh, actually suggest that none of this is actually a number so i'm just gonna select all the data which has a green dot to the top left corner of the cell i'm just gonna scroll back up to the first cell and convert all this to numbers so excellent so i cleaned up this data and now now i'm going to do some basic stuff so that it looks good i'm going to change to and save this data so I got all my data in uh, that I would need for this project and I'm going to save it uh, and it, it is saved as 2011 total households okay just remember that just gonna close this out go back to my map document I'm gonna add my final project total households sheet 0 so once you open that, you'll see all the data that we just downloaded and created. No, uh, this is this is good stuff. So we can use this information to actually create our maps. So the next step is to actually get the census file, you know, which is actually the census uh, track shapefile we can use to actually join the data we downloaded so i came to this msdis website where i got uh, a lot of missouri uh, spatial data so i'm just going to go down to census data 2010 and i'm going to click on track and i'm going to download that information uh, which is going to take So the next step is to extract this data that we downloaded from MSDIS website. I'm going to extract it to STL track 10. Once I've done that, I have this folder with the shape file. So we can add that shape file into the map document. Once I have that, I'm going to join this data based on the GeoID. To the table you know the tables being joined to the shapefile based on the GUID I'm gonna click on OK so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what what has joined and what has not so I'm gonna scroll down till the the table uh, the, the join table and make sure that it's not so this statement actually verifies what data actually is attached so what 
what part of the, what part of the state uh, since it tracks do we have data for so once I have that I'm gonna zoom in to this data and zoom in a little more okay looks like got all the data we need so this is for St. Louis City and St. Louis County it doesn't matter where you're working uh, you know as long as you do this right you have you know information for even St. Charles County so this is good information what I'm going to do next is export this data into a final project geodatabase that I created as census tracks 2011 so I already have done that so I'm not gonna you know replace the data that I already got there but you should actually export this as census tract 2011 so once you got that you're good um, you should you can actually I'm gonna show you how that's gonna look So um, essentially I can remove these two uh, pieces of information and then just stick with the exported data. So that's the data we got. So I also added one more piece of information which is actually a county outline. Uh, I'm not going to go into the details where I downloaded the information and all that part. It should be available from the MSDIS website again. So just download the county boundaries, lay over uh, on top of this and we can get started with the, you know, if you're working with St. Louis County, just download St. Louis County boundaries or just download all the counties and just export the county boundary that you are interested in. So that's it. Um, you can save this file as uh, a final project file and the next step is to actually start adding the fields so that we can calculate the variables based on which we will do the raster analysis okay cool